Greetings, listeners, and thank you for joining us once again for the continuation of our featured show, The Fat Man Only Wipes Twice, starring Harry Hancock as Detective Magnolia. Remember to follow and subscribe on our Spotify so you can be updated anytime there's new episodes. Give us a five-star review, too, while you're at it. As always, our show may feature elements of murder and suspense and may not be suitable for those with weak constitutions. Thank you for listening again, dear listeners. It was another cold night in the city. My associates and I were getting ready for another long night of business, as well as making sure the uh, legitimate businesses were operating as they should be. My name is Tony Tuply. I have no idea why I'm on a walk. I was in my office, working on correcting a few insurance policies. So, big sloppy Suki Akazi, my personal assistant, walked in. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Alright, Sal. Read off my messages. Sure thing, boss. Okay, so first of all, Mikey Mamaluke says he came up with a meatball recipe that will blow your balls off. He wants to uh, set up a taste testing with the rest of the guys, see if we will adopt it for Tuesday night spaghetti nights. Damn. Could change everything. Okay. Let everyone know that we're doing that. Find a date that's free for the testing and get back to me. Gotcha, boss. Okay, next message. Coming from our contact inside the police department. It appears a stomach bug has taken some of them out for the week. Officers Winchester, Smith, and uh, Wesson, as well as detectives Duncan and Magnolia. So that's why I'm on order. What? Never mind. Go on. Oh, uh, all right. If you, if you say so, boss. Uh. So, uh, some of the bookies in our territory say they've been, uh, receiving threatening phone calls. Hmm. Anything pop off or just mean words? Uh, uh, nothing physical yet, no. Any clues on who it might be? Nah, it could just be prank calls, but at worst it's no known as enemies of ours, boss. It's not our problem unless someone gets violent. Tell them they have my blessing to contact the fuzz if they really are that concerned about it. You really don't mind letting them, uh, contact the PD about it? <laughs> the bookies know who butters their corn cobs. They ain't gonna say no mob names. Alright, I'll, I'll relay the message. Uh, let's see. Okay, last message for the day. Uh, this really doesn't... This is pretty minor. I don't know why the fat man even wants me to relay it to you. Hey, if the fat man wants it relayed, you relay it, Sal. You know this. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, says Georgie, just the tip. Alfredo, Jay walked outside of Baron von Ravioli's Italian restaurant. Give him a ride. See, it seems really pointless things to even have to report. What? Are you fucking kidding me? That son of a bitch. I want Alfredo dead by morning. Not just dead. Make it painful. Brutal. Send a goddamn message, Sal. What? Uh, that, that seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? What do you think the fat man means by give him a ride? That's cold, Sal. We gotta kill that son of a bitch. That rat-faced bastard has the balls. The fucking balls to jaywalk in the fat man city? He's lucky I ain't banging down his door right now and choking him with my cannoli. That no good cock sucker. O okay, boss, boss, calm down. Calm I down. want that motherfucker's jaywalking ass on this desk by daylight so I can tear it up myself. I want everyone on this. I don't care what else is going on. Have everyone stop what they're doing, sweep the streets, and find this worthless, disrespectful asswipe and bring him to me. Yes, boss, you got it. Right, right away. I know how to get shit done in this shit. So I put a 150 buck bounty on that cocksucker's head. But if I find him first, I'll pocket the money and head on down to the gentleman's club and have a hell of a night on the fat man's dime myself. So I find myself driving around the city blocks Alfredo is known to frequent. That's when I saw him. At the bus stop, probably looking to pick up a ride out of town. Gotta play this cool. Hey! Hey, pal! Funny seeing you here. I was, uh... Just strolling the neighborhood, looking to score some chats, and saw you waiting on the bus. Need a ride, maybe? I can give you a ride, if you needed one. A ride, that is. Sure, boss. 
My feet are killing me. I've been walking all day. Oh, I bet you have. Thanks for the ride. I really appreciate it. You've always been good to me, boss. Can you take me to 81st and Crabapple? Sure, buddy. I can do that. At your house? It's kind of a poor neighborhood. I, I thought I was paying you better than that. Oh, no. That's where my grandma lives. My car broke down this morning, and I've been walking all day to get to her so I can give her the meds she needs to deal with the pain. Oh. Uh, what's the matter with her? Oh, she's got this super rare nerve disease. Just the slightest breeze, and it's like a million razors cutting into every nerve all over her body at the same time. Wow. That's fucked up. Yeah, I've been running as fast as I can all day just to get this to her. She took the last pill this morning, and it should be wearing off in an hour or two. If we don't get to her soon, we'll be able to hear her screams of agony from blocks away. Ah, son of a bitch. This was supposed to be easy. Now I gotta kill this vile piece of shit while his poor Graham Graham suffers. I may be a heartless, cold-blooded killer, but I still have a heart. Sure, this disgusting cretin deserves to die, but his grandma? Jesus! This is why the fat man chose me to be his right hand. Someone has to wipe the shit out of this town. No better than Duplai. Hey boss, you missed the turn. No, Georgie, I didn't. You crossed the fat man today. What? I had lunch with him earlier. Did I offend him somehow? He seemed very happy when I left. Well, dickweed, that was before you fucking jaywalked right in front of him. Now he wants you dead. And your poor grandma is gonna have to deal with the consequences of your fucking disrespectful actions. What? No, Tony, come on, you know me. I would never disrespect the fat man. Oh, so you calling the fat man a liar, you worthless brick? No, no, of course not. There must be a misunderstanding. I've never broken a law in my life. I know, Georgie. That's why you're the worst member of this crew. I don't know why you're even still here. I'm the fat man's godson. This can't be happening. Oh, it's happening, asshole. I'll call your parents after the deed and make sure they know your grandma is going to need a new caretaker. They've been dead since I was nine. I grew up an orphan and my grandmother raised me as her own. Oh, boo-hoo. Your life sounds fucking tragic. How ironic that it'll end with tragedy, too. Get out of the car. Now stand up against the wall. Who's that? They're here to help send a message. Want to know what that message is? A message about the power of friendship? <laughs> nope. Let him have it, boys. have to be made sometimes, but to get ahead in this business, you have to truly believe you're making the right call, no matter how wrong it feels. Headed downtown to the finest gentleman's club in town, the bloated blowhole. I opened the door and immediately got hit with the smell of beer and perfume. The sounds of the sexy tunes in these broads took the socks off too. As I joined the spoils of my victory, trying not to uh, soil my pants if you catch my drift. Suddenly, my uh, pleasure was interrupted. Ahem, Mr. Ply? That's too ply ass face. What do you want? I'm trying to play whack a mole over here. I'm terribly sorry. I'm afraid I have a visitor for you in Private Room 12. Oh, shit. Private Room 12 is not a string of words you ever want to hear rattled off together. You see, most of these private rooms are for canoodling. Room 12 is reserved for the fat man. He ain't summoning you into a canoe. Mr. Fat Man. Sit, Tony. So, uh... What's going on? You tell me. Yeah, well, what do you mean? Don't you play stupid with me, Tuply. You tell me right now why my godson is laying behind the elementary school dead. He was shot so many times he's more whole than man. Uh, what do you mean? You, you told me to whack and it was in my nightly messages Sal read it to me. Send Sal in. Yes, sir. So, uh, how's your mother doing? Why, you gonna whack her too? <laughs> At this point, I'd rather her just whack me. What? No! 
No, not like that. You want to see me, fat man? Read your note about Georgie Dewey. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, Georgie, just the tip. Alfredo, Jay walked outside of Baron Vaughn Ravioli's Italian restaurant. Give him a ride. Let me see that. God damn it, Sal. The word is smeared. It says just walked, not Jay walked. He was taking meds to his sweet grandmother. That poor lady is in constant pain. Okay, but give him a ride. That's slang for, you know, uh, a ride in the house to the cemetery, right? That has never meant that. If I want someone off, I'd tell you to whack him. You know this, Tupai. He was my goddamned grandson, you fucking moron. <sighs> All right, Tony. I'm a fair man. His grandmother's going to be placed in uh, professional care. The cost is coming out of your check until the old lady bites the big one. You got it? Yes, sir. Just second strike, Tupai. Last month, you brought that private dickhole to the old warehouse. We could have lost everything. You're lucky Detective Magnolia is the biggest idiot in the world, but he's still a cop, and you risk it all to play Billy Big Cock. Now Georgie's dead because you can't be bothered to verify something simple. I'm going to wipe the slate clean again, Tony, but you remember this. I only wipe twice. Wow, what a dramatic ending to tonight's show. Remember to follow and rate our show on Spotify and subscribe to our Patreon page to get a behind-the-scenes look. Detective Magnolia will return next week, so until then, listeners, good luck and good night. Alright, that's a wrap, right? Can I get my check? But The last one bounced. I'm going to need this one in cash. Don't get paid until you read the lines. I just read the lines. Oh, is this thing? Oh, shit. The red light's on, guys. Somebody can... Somebody